More than 30,000 Sikhs have entered the trucking industry in the last two years. Mostly Sikhs, they want to keep the article of faith, like turban, hair, beard, mustache. It's a safety hazard for a lot of jobs required. And in trucking, they can keep everything and they can still make decent living. Pander bought a used tractor trailer 13 years ago. Today, he owns nine rigs, plus this truck stop in Laramie. <laughs> With so many Sikh truck drivers, Pander even added a Sikh temple to his truck stop. How many truck stops come with a Sikh temple? Not too many. And his kitchen offers Indian specials, which attract new fans as well. But it's more than a friendly truck stop drawing Sikhs to a career behind the wheel. <laughs> Recruiting videos that look like something straight from Bollywood. <laughs> promise a glamorous future. A fancy truck, nice car in the driveway, his wife making him food for the road. Now is this video based on reality? Pretty much, oh yeah. The, the presentation could be a little eye catchy, but you know, that's a reality. A prosperous reality for Mintu Pander. People who say the American dream is dead. It's not dead at all. In fact, if you ask him, the American dream is humming along quite nicely on highways across the country. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Laramie, Wyoming. Let me tell you something, if you can put Bhangra music on national television, it's a good day in America. And one thing that we did, um, well, people always ask me, how did you find this story? Well, I fell in a YouTube little wormhole one night, and I came across one of these videos, and a light bulb struck, and I was like, well, economy, yes, red state, even better, solutions, why not? And um, that's how it started, and it started by just thinking about how do we tell a story about the economy, about jobs that's different. And after good old fashioned reporting and picking up the phone and making calls, we came across Mintu and, and he is in the middle of nowhere Wyoming. Like it took us forever to get out there and it is desolate with hills and just off the highway is this little truck stop. And Jim Axelrod and I and uh, Mr. David Gladstone was, were there and we were filming and one quick thing happened, you know, we're there and it's the, it's the lunch rush. And, and look, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a brown kid from LA and we're in the middle of Wyoming and there are truck, truck drivers coming to this truck stop and, and they're white. And, and, and this is a brown truck stop. Like there's, there's jilbabs, there's this, there's all this Indian food there. And I was like, how is this gonna play out? We were curious. And then these guys show up, you know, in sweats and big and tattoos and you know, all kinds of stuff. And they're like, one chicken tikka masala, please. And then one, <laughs> one biryani, please. I was like, I shed a brown tear of pride. <laughs> it was great, I was like, yes. But thank you to the RCC for this. This is such an honor. I'm looking at the list of winners here. These are the Michael Jordans of LeBron James of journalism and people telling good, powerful stories and want to continue that. I also would want to send a big thank you to our EP, Mo Shawino, who championed this story from the very beginning, our senior producer, Javier Guzman, who also loved this story, loved the fact that we could tell the Sikh community um, story through this, through food, through culture, through, through Wyoming. And of course, Jim Axelrod, our fearless correspondent, and our editor, Seth Fox, who, when we were editing this story for a week, the footage was so good, we ordered Indian food every day for lunch. <laughs> it's awesome. And of course, David Gladstone, our photographer, and us, this is a team effort, so I wanna make sure everybody gets their due diligence. Ian Flickinger from Research, who helped with all the stats, and our broadcast associate, Rebecca Reingold, as well. Thank you so much, this is such an honor, thank you.